Hodor, I am Mog and I play games. Today I'll be playing the Game of Thrones video game game. Now, for those of you who have not interacted with society or the internet in the last five years, Game of Thrones is a TV series based off a currently unfinished book series called A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. So, I have asked my fellow book reader and show watcher Nick to help me face political intrigue, slay giants while riding dragons, and rule Westeros with an iron fist, which would, of course, be forged from the Iron Throne. Awesome! I've been waiting to play the Game of Thrones game ever since Telltale announced it. Telltale? You see, in 2012, Cyanide Studio released an action RPG of Game of Thrones. What could go wrong? It had the style, the music, and even the author. Just look how quickly they cut away from his beautiful mug. You can't hide from us, George! Well, even though I was misled, I do like Game of Thrones, so you know what? Let's do this. Also, don't fear, we will not spoil anything from the books or the show. Somewhere south of the wall. Oh. Great, so, all of Westeros. We're off to a good start. We open with Humpty Dumpty here, a deserter of the wall, being chased by old Ezio. It's over, old brother. All your attempts are in vain. You know I'll end up taking you to Castle Black, dead or alive. Why not let me get away for old time's sake? After all, we're brothers. You wow, I love when people only talk in exposition. I'm sorry, Moors, you leave me no choice. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, shoot. shoot him! Welp. Oh, sweet! Now we get to do something. Oh, no. We just get to choose how this already established character has lived his entire life. Let's see. Sword. Sword. Ooh, sword and axe. Nothing but the best for Moore's Westford, renowned lumberjack and accountant. Blah blah, high strength, great with axes. Look, I just want to beat up giants. Okay, time for combat. I mean, why else would they have us make our character in the middle of all this dialogue? Castle Black. Nothing's changed since the day we arrived. Okay. Uh, some plot happens, I guess. Hold your tongue, deserter. That's not what your mother said last night. Uh Christ, are they just transcribing one of the books? Just gonna put it out there, no one playing this game is unfamiliar with the history of Westeros. Oh, please, enough talk. Pass the sentence and get this over with. Gorald was a brother of the Nerds uh. for almost 50 Wait, I bet they're gonna let us kill our friends so we feel the weight of the decision and just really get into Morse's character. Ah. Uh. What? Were they afraid if they gave the player some control, they'd be too slow and Humpty would run away and be like, I'm out! Our only respite from this cutscene hell is the Iron Peacock loading screen. Let's see what you're worth with a blade in your hand. Yes! Finally! Combat! Oh no. This is the game. This is our life now. Oh my god, it's like the VAT system from Fallout, except slow, not fun. You also can't run away from enemies. If they start swinging while even sort of next to you, it doesn't matter where you are when they finish. You will get health taken away. Oh wow, we can even auto-attack. I really feel like I'm accomplishing something. Fortunately, you get to keep your stone pit bull as a party member. Look at this buff dog, he could win the war if he wanted. Also, when your party members die, they just go back to living once the fight is over. That's okay guys, just walk through my dog. Can we just talk about this pause menu? What do any of these icons mean? Wait, I got it. Equipment, maps, jewelry, book with hair. Why is this bag on a chain here? Is this seriously unlootable? Wait, loot that guy. Well, I'm not gonna take his personal belongings, that's rude. I mean, you might as well. Great, one gold. Glad I got that. Thought something would happen. Well, think about what game we're playing. Look, the main problem with this game is that the Game of Thrones universe isn't really about combat. People know who to root for in the show because they've grown to love the characters. Yeah, the only person from the show we've interacted with was Lord Mormont. And it's like someone heard about the Rule of Thirds and put Mormont in the bottom third. Like, here I am, guys! Okay, where are we supposed to go now? Oh, a nondescript door, of course. that again? Ah! 
Man, I wish that was us. Oh, we're a skin changer? One of the most powerful people in Westeros? Did Moors just find that out, even though he's like 50? Thanks for the heads up, game. We're the most powerful character in this game. And we're stuck. On nothing. Oh, there he is. Moving on. The gods have given me a feast of crows today. The winds of winter sure are blowing in your favor. The forecast calls for a storm of swords. When we're fighting, it's like a dance with dragons. There are no kings in this game. We can't make a Clash of Kings joke. Sorry. That's fine. I don't even want to be good at this game. In the Game of Thrones game, the only way to win is to not play. Oh no! What's gonna happen to Moors? I think I might care a little. This is the most tension I've felt the entire game. I mean, first levels aren't always indicative of the rest of the game, so maybe things will start getting better now that we defeated the boss. Or we get to play a new character we don't care about. Well, how can we not choose to be this archer? Finally, we come to River Spring. Fifteen years ago, it was one of the region's most flourishing towns. That said, his death didn't surprise many people. The poor man was but a shadow of his former self since the disappearance of his eldest son. Thank you, expositional rower. Your new character, Renzio, has returned to his hometown of Riverspring because his father, the Lord of Riverspring, has died. As a result, the town is in chaos, and everyone likes putting their freakishly huge hands on their hips in uncomfortable-looking disagreement. So you could say, in Riverspring, everyone's literally... up in arms. Unable to slow the inevitable Okay, now I think the game is punishing us for mocking how slow everything is. Oh, you know you're slow when the NPCs are giving you the sassy hip. Renzio attends his father's funeral uninvited, and his sister is so mad! Dude, don't get a dead man on the lips. It's unhygienic. Mog, this scene is still going. Are we gonna be quizzed? I'll spare your life on one condition. Who is the Maester of Riverspring? Can we go back to fighting? I thought you hated the combat. I'm changing my mind. Well, this isn't annoying at all. Better to mock the game than play and lose. You have no idea, General Lannister. So you just kind of... peruse the town, trying to calm down the civilians and reason with the guards? Like this guy who got his head stuck in confused puppy mode. He's holding some people hostage and is awaiting orders from... apparently anyone. This man should be executed. Oh my god. We did that. That's what he gets for not calling us my lord. This guy's name is Little Leo. Death has a gift for him. With all this, this guy has resting evil god. face. Kill him. Well, hello there. You can go free. Sir, you're not just doing this because she's a woman, are you? Next! Kill her, Cutthroat. Good thing his name is Cutthroat. He's just He's doing what he was born to do. That. Rosamund! There's vermin killed Rosamund! Lady Rosamund's death is tragic, but unavoidable. Yeah, people die. Get over it. You know what they say, my lord. Don't buy your blade until you know what you plan to stick it into. Woman! Oh, that's, that's not an option. God, even the water is slow. You see, in games, if you hate the main character, the gameplay better be fun enough to make up for it. But here, when the gameplay blows and the cutscenes are dull, boys. you get this. And do it well. There's no struggle in Moore's decision to kill a good friend. He just does it. Presumably because duty. But to not even contemplate his choice sucks away any tension or emotion, leaving us to not feel anything for him at all. Characters. Because when you take out the care, you're just left with actors. Mog, why did we play this? I just... I just wanted to yell at George R. R. Martin for not finishing the books. You know, just some cathartic relief. But it turns out when you meet Maester Martin, it's not even George doing the lines. And he just... I wrote an entire chapter this week. I stand corrected. So when can we hope to see your completed masterpiece? I already told you. Next year. <laughs> he says that every year. 
Okay, well, let's try and think positively. At least the environments look like they were from Game of Thrones. Yeah, I like those god rays. Yeah. Aw, the tree moved. That's nice. Hey guys, Nick helped me play and review this game, so why not check him out on YouTube? Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, if, if you want to. Ned Dice. Hey guys, Nick helped me play and review this game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fact. So I guess you could say everyone's up in arms. <laughs> Is that your smug face? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs>